Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel Rashid Iqbal. Today I am going to show you how to install an MCCB and make the termination of a feeder pillar. This is the feeder pillar. Here you can see the termination of the outgoing cable is already completed and the rating of uh, the MCCB is 125 ampere and the incoming cable is connected to the MCCB with a rating of 160 ampere. But there is something wrong with this design. All outgoing cable which is connected from this feeder pillar to DB distribution board are single phase only while the circuit breaker installed here is a three pole MCCB. This is a major mistake. This is why today we will replace the three pole MCCB with a single pole MCCB. So before starting the job, our electrician switch off the main breaker. Here you can see this is the single pole MCCB that we are going to install and its ampere rating is 32 ampere. As per the load, this is perfect size of MCCB. Now with the help of Allen key, the electrician is trying to open the screw of the MCCB so that the outgoing cable can be removed. They have removed all outgoing cable terminations. Now he is removing these MCCBs. Here you can see this is a three pole MCCB for R, Y and B phase. Now he has removed another one. Let me show you this MCCB. As you can see, this is a three pole Siemens brand MCCB with a 125 ampere rating. This is a very high rating compared to the load. That is why we will install a single pole 32 ampere MCCB. Now he is installing single pole MCCB in every phase. He is tightening the input terminal of MCCB with the bus bar. In the same way, he will install all the breakers. There are total of 4 outgoing cables and here we installing 5 MCCBs, one extra for future use. Here is the schematic diagram of this feeder pillar. You can see how this feeder pillar is getting power from the service cabinet which is installed next to this feeder pillar. All outgoing connections are shown here. Now we will cover the empty space with an insulation cap. You can see how the output and input cable are tagged. This is the main cable coming from service cabinet.
Now one by one, he is connecting all outgoing cable to the MCCBs. You can see how beautifully he is making the termination. Once we terminate the cable, we must ensure that all cable are properly tightened with screws. The connection is finally completed. Here you can see how the wires are connected to the MCCBs. Now it's time to turn on the main breaker from the service cabinet where the energy meter is installed. Once we turned on, we will turn on the main breaker of this feeder pillar and then one by one we will turn on the branch breaker. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.